Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here with a video for Trinity Stamps. I'm excited to say that I'll be popping in each month with a video using these fantastic products, and I look forward to sharing more with you. Today I have some tips and tricks for using vellum in your designs with a gorgeous stamp set from the new release, so let's get started. First, I'm using the beautiful You Make a Difference set by Love Danny. The sentiment is big and nicely fills an A2 card. I start by placing the stamp on the lid of my Misty and placing a piece of vellum inside. My Misty surface tends to be a little inky, so when I'm working with vellum, I always place a piece of scrap cardstock under the vellum to make sure I don't accidentally transfer any ink to the back of the translucent paper. I prep the vellum with a powder tool and then ink my stamp with Versamark. I close the lid of my Misty and then press firmly to get a good impression. Then I heat emboss the sentiment with gold glitter embossing powder. This is one of my favorite powders to use with large sentiments or images because the glitter in the powder really sparkles. I tap off the excess and use my heat tool to melt the embossing powder. Next, I use the coordinating die to die cut the vellum sentiment. I want to combine the sentiment with a cheery rainbow using the rainbow die set. Since I only need single strips of each color, I take some cardstock scraps and temporarily adhere the specific ray of the die to each color scrap to build my rainbow. The rainbow isn't technically correct color-wise, but uses some of my favorite light shades of cardstock. I also use some of the same colors to die-cut hearts from the sentiment die set. Each of the Love Danny sentiment stamps have a coordinating die that cuts the sentiment and also dies to cut some of the little images like the hearts or stars. Next, I die-cut the stitched cloud from the rainbow set twice from white cardstock. I tilt the die slightly to get a different cloud angle each time. I also die cut one of the clouds to be a little taller than the other. I want to add a little blending along the clouds of my card base, so I line up the cloud along the bottom of my card base and then lower it about a half an inch. I very lightly trace along the top of the cloud and then erase the pencil markings until they're just barely visible. This gives me a guide for my blending. I erase the marks because I'm using a very light blue and could accidentally smear the pencil marks onto the blended area if there was a lot of pencil lead left on the paper. Next, I blend Tumbled Glass and Mermaid Lagoon Distress Oxide Ink along the pencil outline that I drew. I start with the tumbled glass and lighten my hand so that it blends out to white at the top. Then I go in with the darker Mermaid Lagoon along the bottom and blend the two colors until there's a seamless transition. And now it's time to start putting my card together. First, I turn over all of the rainbow pieces and line them up backwards. I apply temporary tape to the cardstock pieces to keep the rainbow in place. Then I adhere the taller cloud layer to my blended panel with ATG adhesive and trim off the excess. I like how the blending line echoes the die cut shape of the clouds. Next, I add adhesive to the panel for my rainbow. Again, I lightly trace where my rainbow will go so I know where to add the adhesive. Finally, I add the second cloud layer on top of the rainbow and trim off all the overhang.
Then I come back to my vellum sentiment. I want to see the rainbow, so using vellum is a perfect way to add my sentiment without losing most of the cardstock color. It's a little tricky to adhere vellum because different adhesives can be seen through the vellum. But this sentiment is perfect because it has those little hearts scattered across it. I adhere some of the hearts that I die cut to match the heart design on the sentiment. Then when I turn over the sentiment, I can add adhesive to the back of the hearts and it won't show through the vellum. I add my liquid glue and then turn over and adhere the sentiment to my rainbow. If you want a little more adhesive, you could add thin lines of liquid glue behind some of the embossed lines to disguise it, but the adhesive on the hearts was enough for me. Then I place a piece of scrap cardstock over the panel and weigh it down with acrylic blocks. This helps the sentiment dry flat. To finish the card, I add a little extra sparkle by applying Wink of Stella to a few of the larger words and a few accents with a white gel pen. When you tilt the card, you really see the sparkle. And here you can see a second example I created using a different stamp set from the release. This one has little starburst images that I use to adhere the vellum over my rainbow. And that's it. You can find more information on the products I used in the YouTube description below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. If you do subscribe, make sure you click the bell so you're notified the next time I post. Here are a few more videos you might be interested in. And until next time, have an amazing day and happy crafting. Bye.